I have a few little things that I would just absolutely love to chat with you guys about. Um, one of which is that I didn't upload again last week. So I think just in terms of my new lifestyle of being a corporate Barbie, um, I think it works best for me if I upload every other week. And I was really hard on myself at first because I was like, oh my God, like I've been doing so good. And, you know, I held myself to the standard of posting every week. But that was also whenever I like didn't have anything else to do. And like, it's not like this is my job. I do this just for fun. And I feel like it should it shouldn't feel like a job. It should just feel like I want to like talk about whatever I want to talk about. And I think I've kind of just in my head created it to be this like duty that isn't like just fun anymore. And so I think I need to just reapproach my uploading um, differently because instead of it being like this stark deadline, maybe I will post every week, but sometimes it'll be on Thursdays and sometimes it'll be on Mondays or Wednesdays but I think I just need to take a little bit of the pressure off of myself and um because this is just supposed to be fun like I don't make money from this this is just like a way for me to kind of keep some creativity in my life and kind of have control over like something that I'm doing that's mine and it's like my passion project and if no one listens to this like that's fine. But if people do, that's fine. That's how it's always been since I first started this show. So I want to keep it like that. And I just wanted to address that. If any of you care, I feel like some everyone's just like, it's all right, babe, just post like, we're not like, it's not that deep. Just do whatever you got to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, so I got that out of the way. Next up, if you're watching the video version of this episode, I have Winnie the Pooh on my lap right now. Um, Winnie the Pooh has been my favorite, like, Disney character um, since I was a kid. Like, him and Piglet have just always been my favorite. And I was at Target recently, and I saw these, like, they're called Cuddles with a Z. And they're just, like, the squishiest, softest thing ever. They're, like, better than my pillow. And he's sleeping and it's definitely, it was in the kids section, definitely made for a child. Um, But I'm going to keep, I'm just going to keep going with it. I don't care. He's just like the sweetest little guy sitting on my lap sleeping. So he's so eepy. And so that's how I'm going to keep it. Next up on the agenda. So not too long ago, a couple months ago, actually for the one year, anniversary of this podcast I had done a little rebrand and I made kind of the main logo if you will my dog Ruby Um, she's a little French bulldog and that's kind of the meaning it's not like just a random dog like that's my dog she's 15 and she is a senior citizen of America and she hasn't been doing that that great recently um I mean, she's 15. French Bulldogs typically don't live to be that long. And it's starting to show. And I also think that's kind of like why I didn't really post last week too. Because that's kind of whenever it all started going downhill. And like, I I just needed to kind of focus on other things. Like I said in the beginning, this is kind of just a little hobby that I do. It's not like, you know, I have advertisements relying on me to post every week and and do ad reads and whatever so um yeah so she hasn't been doing that great which is really really sad um and I'm working from home for a little while and so it's nice to kind of be with her but that's besides the point everything's fine but just to kind of give, give a little context as to like maybe why I have been a little like up and down with consistency but once again it doesn't fucking matter. It's fine. It's literally just me. It's just me talking to like 15 people. So how are you guys doing? Today's discussion, I want to have a little kind of 
stream of consciousness esque questioning my existence episode. And it involves today's episode kind of involves this long winded question that involves so many different variables and that it's definitely just not really a yes or no answer and like and but those are the ones that I love I love whenever things aren't really yes or no because then there's not really much to talk about and that's a lot of things a lot of things in life aren't just yes or no they're not just black and white because it a lot of things um in in people's opinions on things are compiled from their experience with um life honestly so I want to dive in today of the discussion can men and women be just friends like you know what I mean where it's like you see a girl and a guy bestie and it's like oh they're gonna fall in love one day or it's like oh they're looking a little suspicious it's like I think it's a huge part of it is society and I think you know even on TikTok I'll see like a girl and a guy and like his girlfriend or something and it's like oh like aren't you a little worried or like oh he definitely has a crush on his quote-unquote friend so it's like that feeds into it as well but like I said there's so much more that goes into just saying like yes or no obviously there are people who are like well yeah and like that's it because that's based on their experience and then there's people who are like no and that's based on kind of their perception and what they've been through for them to form those opinions and that's literally for almost everything there's rarely things where it's just like yes or no so um if you asked me this question three years ago I'd probably be like no because I was at a time in my life where that's like that's just what I thought because of what was happening in my life at that moment. Now my answer is a little bit different, but I want to kind of give you my rationale as a woman as to why back then I would say no. And maybe you can, you as in listening, you, the listener can maybe agree with me. Or if you're curious to see why someone would say no, they can't be just friends. Um, I'm going to give you that perspective today. So growing up, I really didn't have a lot of platonic male friendships. Um, And even like middle school, high school, kind of college, I just, I didn't get along with men. Not that like we didn't get along at all. We just weren't, like I didn't gravitate towards men. We didn't have the same interests and that was fine. But anytime I interacted with a man who I wasn't dating, it was typically my boyfriend at the time's friends. At Towards the end of middle school and most of high school, anytime I'd be in a group setting around guys, like they'd be like, you know, my acquaintances and we'd talk and get along and whatnot. Like we were friends, but it wasn't like I was texting them and I had like this bond with them, but I could still, you know, be friends with them, obviously, but they weren't my friends. They were my boyfriend's friends. And so that was kind of a little different because then when we broke up, I had lost all of them because they weren't my friends. They were his friends that I was just kind of like hanging out with, you know? And so, um, I just always typically got along better with women especially on like a deeper more like like emotional level which I is not like unheard of but um I I just like have more common interests with 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 women generally whenever I did have guy quote-unquote friends growing up um I didn't look at them as like my friends because I couldn't go to them and talk to them um, with, with stuff like I could with my actual real girlfriends. And so this kind of set the stage for how I 
look at men because the only time I ever really got close with a man that wasn't my father or were a male relative was whenever I was in a romantic relationship or some kind of physical relationship with a man. And so for years, this is all I have, like that notion of just like the relationship between me and a man is like romance, which completely set me up for failure whenever I went to college. Because believe it or not, there's not a lot of uh, 20 year olds who want to be in a romantic relationship. Shocker. So go into college and um, well, it was hard because my freshman year halfway through we hit COVID and like I couldn't really go out and socialize. Um, it, It was very limited who I was exposed to. And, um, so after that all kind of passed and we were all able to like go out and socialize again, go to parties and hang out with people, um, nothing really changed because I wasn't exposed to like just guy friends. Like my roommates had boyfriends, but like I wasn't really friends with them. I just like couldn't connect with them. Um, and so as I kind of found my friend group in college for the last like year and a half um I it it was a combination of girls and guys and so I started to kind of recognize how people are just friends with guys because there were guys in my friend group where I was just like oh like they're just they're a good friend But I didn't look at it as anything more than that. And so this is kind of the time where I started to get exposed to just like platonic friendships with a man. But it still hadn't really clicked because I was still at a time in my life where I wasn't in a relationship and I was kind of just single, fun and flirty. And so I was still kind of viewing men in general um that I wasn't, you know, already friends with or like not attracted to as still like this physical connection instead of it just being platonic. Like any time and and being completely honest for a very long time, I would kind of just like meet a guy and without even thinking about it, I'd be like, would I hook up with him? Not saying that I actually would or not, but that was kind of just this routine I had gotten in my head because I was in college and I was single and that's just the lifestyle I was living. And so um, I I was kind of in this stage in my life where I just didn't view and it's I'm not saying like this is okay because if I were a man and I were saying this and being like oh I just didn't look at women as just like people I looked at them as just like something physical yeah the world would find my address and hunt me down I'm not saying that this is good that I did this but I'm just giving you kind of my my background and then we can discuss the question and my stance on it so um yeah for a while I kind of just um it it was just like a purely physical thing for me whenever I would um, be around like a guy I found attractive and like it just it was rough it was rough to say the least a rough point in my life so I'm saying all of this as a woman and I'm not quite sure exactly how the the male brain works I have a I have a hunch um, but I, I have a feeling that every not every but most of the female friendships that they form they have thought at least once if they would hook up with her or not or date her and I say that as a generalization but also not really because like scientifically men have more like animalistic (laughs) tendencies and then also just like if you're straight humans kind of have like this primal instinct for the opposite sex obviously that's not for everyone but you know what I mean so for example you're like friends with say I'm 
I was going to say, say I'm a girl. I am a girl. And I'm friends with this guy, like really, truly just friends. And we're hanging out at my parents' house. Say we're in like high school. I don't know. Set the scene. We're in high school. And we've really, we've just been friends for so long. And he's kind of like a brother and he stays the night. Now, immediately, what do you think? Like, oh, that's weird. Or do you think like, okay, well, if they're just friends, like it's fine. And I even find myself like if someone said that to me, I'd be like, oh, you guys had a sleepover? And would be like, yeah. And then some people are like, like I, whenever I sleep at my girlfriend's house, um, like sometimes we just like sleep in the same bed because that's like, we're just friends, obviously. But it's like this weird notion. You see a man and a woman being just friends and it's just kind of like unfathomable that they would never even consider like doing anything. So that kind of brings me to the question of like, can they be just friends? Like platonically never thought about it never once like had that flirtatious desire like simply just friends because obviously I have friends that I have never thought that about I've never romantically thought about them and so it's like that is possible for a woman and a man now like I said in the beginning I think society kind of has an impact on this question because it's like um I don't know. I I feel like I've seen so many movies and TV shows and stuff where it's just like never trust like his best friend. That's a girl. Like she always like it's just this running joke that like she has a crush on him or like if a girl has a guy best friend, it's like if he's not gay, then it's like they're definitely like he definitely wants to bone her. Like it's just like this this unfathomable unfathomable thing where they it's just like they can't be just friends and that also I think personally impacted my view on girl guy friendships because I was just like oh like that's just not possible along with my experience of just not having guy friends because that just wasn't something that um happened and I just didn't get close with them or maybe this is just like my internalized like true feeling towards this question maybe I want to say no but I feel like it's hard because it really isn't and like I said in the beginning it's not really like a yes or no question for some people it might be sure but it's like I posted on my Instagram story um this question in like a poll and it said yes no and eh so and a lot of people are saying eh because it really is kind of it depends on a lot of things and I think that's a really important thing to make note of is that a lot of the things that I talk about and just topics in general in life are going to really depend on your upbringing and your belief on certain things and it all compiles us into like into who we are and what we believe in. And this is just kind of like my take. And I know I I do sometimes wish that I had someone here to kind of give their opinion on it. But also at the same time, it's like, that's the whole point of this podcast is kind of like, okay, well, if you don't disagree, like that's fine, but argue with the wall because I don't want to hear it. You're not going to change our mind about it. But this isn't really like that crazy. Like if someone were trying to convince me that Cool Ranch Doritos are the worst kind of Doritos, I would... I would, I don't even know. I would have to burn them at the stake, you know? But this, I'm kind of just like, it it really is a complex situation that involves a lot of variables um, depending on how you were raised and, and the environment in which you were raised and your personality and how well you get along with other people. And it's just like, there's so many things that it, that factor into it. Another one is kind of the stage you're at in life. Like I was saying earlier, when I was in college, I was in my single girl era and I was just like having fun. I didn't really care. And if you're in that era, you might not view 
men as a whole um as like just friends it's kind of just like it's just it's more of like that primal instinct and once again I'm not saying that this is a good mindset but I am saying it's just the reality it's not good vice versa either and then if you're in your like I hate men era when you've been hurt time and time again and you're just like you're exiling them you're like I'm done with them obviously you're gonna view them as the enemy and you're obviously not gonna be friends with them maybe so then there's that aspect um whenever I was in you know my time in my life whenever I was just you know being flirty and fun I was constantly getting hurt and so whenever if I just kept it physical if I didn't get close with a guy if I didn't you know open up to him and even give him the chance to be my friend I wouldn't get hurt and so that's another aspect of it I just felt like in that moment I wasn't being seen as an intellect and I wasn't being seen for my heart or anything and so I was just like okay like then I'm just gonna start viewing men like that because clearly they're not getting hurt and I am so I basically turned my emotions off which once again was not smart (laughs) but it happened um during this phase I was constantly getting hurt um by men who only saw me as like this sexual object in this sexual concept instead of a human being with a kind heart and a mind um and so I adopted this mindset and I was just like all right fine I'm gonna start thinking like them and I'm not even gonna be friends with them um which was just not a very smart thing to do at all don't recommend that but I think the most important thing is, is that now I don't, I've like grown and it hasn't even been that long. Um, my boyfriend, he is incredibly kind and smart and respectful. And first and foremost, I like, he is my friend. He is one of my best friends. And I think that I sometimes forget that because it just feels so naturally for me to just talk to him about everything because whenever you have a boyfriend I mean it's literally in the name like they're your friend that's a boy but obviously it turns into more than that and I talked to him about everything whenever I started to get to know him and I was like okay wait so he's not gonna ghost me he's not gonna leave me he's not gonna break my heart and be mean to me and like gaslight me I'm like wait so they exist so it's kind of been this like journey of viewing men as it sounds so bad but it's like viewing men as like how they have hearts and minds and they obviously you know there are good ones it's like obviously I knew that even like last year because I have a dad who is fantastic and I have uncles and cousins who are great. It's just whenever I was in that time period in my life where I was just constantly getting fucked over by these really shitty guys who didn't care about me. I was just like, oh my God, this, I like don't even want to, I can't even like, they suck and I don't even want to be friends with them, let alone even like be physical with them. So, um, yeah, it's been, um, I really think I owe a lot to him to like, he's showed me that, um, guys can be cool. And if you know me personally, you know that like a year ago, I would have never said that, (laughs) but I still to this day don't like have close guy friends. I mean, I have my boyfriend who is first and foremost my friend, but I'm also like not really in a space in my life where I'm like meeting new people um, that much to who are like who could be potential friends. Um, I just I just think that and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think that I get along on a deeper level. I get along better with women and that's fine. 
I'm sure a lot of guys could say they get along better with guys than they do girls because it's like a lot of the time you share very similar interests. You're friends with people because you share like similar interests and things and in the same viewpoints on things. And that's what you talk about. That's what you bond over. And so um, growing up, I couldn't, I didn't like my interests were like the Hunger Games, Taylor Swift in One Direction. And there wasn't like a sixth grader boy who was like wanting to talk to me about that. So it's like I couldn't really I didn't I didn't have these same interests and arguably still don't um, that I can kind of like bond over with a guy. And um, I don't know. It's I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I can easily get along with men if I want to um but in the same way where I would categorize them as like a friend there's not too many of them um and I think that's fine I think that's okay but all in all I do think that men and women can be just friends for the most part obviously depending on everything I just talked about um depends on you know, the stage in your life you're in, your upbringing, your view on the opposite sex, um, the people you're surrounded with, your personality, the way you get, you get along with people. And it's like, there's just such few things in this world that's like, yes or no. And there's just so many things that are factored into it. Um, but generally I think, yes, there's, there can be no ulterior motive. There can be no feelings, that are being developed um just like a purely platonic friendship and kind of like a platonic love that you can have for a friend of the opposite sex so that's my that's my little tidbit on that also I am in my pjs well underneath this sweater I have my heiress tour t-shirt but I am wearing my pjs so that's why it kind of looks a little silly right now. Let me know your thoughts. I think on the day this is uploaded, I'm going to put another thing up on my stories. Um, or maybe like the day after, after people have listened. And then kind of see what people are thinking now. Kind of do a little compare and contrast. Because uh, I think it's very interesting to see people's perspectives on this and... Um, because it kind of just gives you a little glimpse into, um, kind of just their life and their opinion on things. So let me know. I'd like to know. And that's all I have for you guys this week. Who knows if I'll upload next week, but make sure you are following the Instagram because that's where I'll post kind of like if something changes or I'm like, oh, I'm not posting tomorrow, but I'm posting on Thursday. Something like that. So make sure you're following the Instagram at argue with the wall, but the width is a W. And subscribe to the YouTube channel if you feel like it. And the TikTok, um, where I post like the little clips and stuff. So I don't know. If you feel like doing that, that'd be awesome. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.